Cleaning is not product, it's a process. It is not the product that goes into the house. That is the tip of the iceberg on a really green project. We have been committed for a number of years to constantly improving our commitment to green and education that goes into it, working with different trade partners and vendors, trying to always stay on sort of the leading edge of the green movement, best practices, and being able to be recognized leaders, experts in green. When we first met, the goal was to have this be a LEED certified project, at least gold and, and uh, possibly platinum. This project is located in the heart of Georgetown in Washington, D.C., which is a, a particularly historic area. Because this was a, a historic house and over 100 years old, it did pose a number of uh, additional challenges. When the architect and the homeowner came to us, most of the systems of the house had need to be replaced, the plumbing and the electrical. One of the big goals for the homeowner is she wanted a, a green house, but she wanted it to fit the style of a historic Georgetown. One of the prerequisites for a LEED certified project is that you manage the waste on the project very deliberately and that you document the waste removal. One of the key elements on the heating system and energy conservation system of the house was that we're generating a good deal, approximately 60 to 70 percent of the home's domestic hot water demand is heated through the sun. One of the challenges of the heating and cooling system in a house like this is because we insulated the envelope of the house so thoroughly that there is actually a potential for not enough fresh air to come into the envelope. And so we included with the heating system an ERV, which is an energy recovery ventilator, and it brings in fresh air and exhausts stale air. The insulation package on this house, we paid a great deal of attention to that. And the product that was used is a, actually manufactured by Demolac and it had a 30% soy content in the spray foam insulation. The soy product is a waste leftover from the major agricultural industry of, of producing soy. When we first got into the energy charrettes on the house, the window package was certainly a, a, an important element. And this house posed challenges that many other houses don't have, which is that the facade of the building is protected by historic preservation and we determined that we could not replace the windows on the front elevation of the house. We had to restore them and this process added uh, time and cost but as it ended up we were able to restore the windows and put on custom storm windows that ended up 90 percent as energy efficient as the new thermopane windows at the rear of the house. In the design of the rear of the home and the landscaping that was something that was discussed in some detail during the original design charrettes to make sure that we were both able to manage and keep as much of the stormwater runoff on the property as well as use plantings that were native and indigenous to the, to the area so that they did not need any additional watering. The flooring in, throughout the house, uh, a number of decisions were involved in that in selecting the materials, uh, materials that have been reclaimed as well as materials that were grown and certified through the Forest Stewardship Council to establish that they were, they were grown and harvested in a sustainable fashion. The wood that is on the main level of the house and the second floor is all heart pine that was salvaged from other uses of it historically and rather than, than uh, throw it out it's been reclaimed and remilled. On this project we took on one uh, particularly interesting challenge, which was that all the interior trim was certified from local trees that were, um, most of them had come down in storms or had to be taken down, and a local sawyer, an, an urban sawyer that we've worked with a number of times, milled up the wood, kiln dried it, and uh, delivered it to us for use in the house. In all the bathrooms as well as the kitchen counters, uh, an effort was made to source stone and tile from relatively local manufacturers within 500 miles or less. Throughout this project there was a number of, of efforts were made to reduce water consumption. All the toilets of course are dual flush, low flow, and all the water fixtures, the shower heads, also use the uh, lowest amount of water that is uh, that they can be rated for. Every home and business uses a great deal of electricity for lighting and in this particular project we used almost all of the lighting is LED 
light emitting diodes, which have two advantages. One is that they use very little electricity, but they also generate very little heat, which improves the energy efficiency of the heating and cooling system. Other design challenges we had to achieve the lighting goals of the client were to locate large skylights through the roof as well as some sun tubes into the bathrooms. And the sun tubes, they, they look like, ultimately like a, a very bright, oversized recessed light and they work wonderfully because there's no cost associated with them and they are, there are no maintenance. As part of the water efficiency elements of the house, because we were replacing all the piping in the house, we decided to use a very green, healthy, energy efficient water piping called Fusiotherm, uh, originally developed in Germany and it is rated to be used in food processing plants and because it goes together with heat, as is embodied in the name of fusiotherm, it's, it's all fused together with heat rather than solder. So there's no flux or solder used in the system. And therefore, when it's turned on, there's no uh, excess debris inside the pipe that, that can affect the taste of the water. The body of knowledge that we created in this project and that we have to go forward with on future projects is the, the greatest asset that we're left with. Developing a team on a project is frequently what separates success and less than success. And on this project we had a, a particularly excellent team of people who were very committed from the homeowners through the architect, but within Landis we had several people who really contributed a great deal of their time and were very committed to the success of the project regardless of the effort required. Looking back on this project, people have asked us if we would do it again knowing what we know now. And that is, is often a very thought-provoking question from a, the totality of it, the, the education in the ever more complex world of green remodeling, green design build, the team building, the experiential knowledge that our firm now has. We know enough to assist our clients in the future to make the best decisions they can and to build projects as sustainably and as thoughtfully as possible.